over 250 years, African Americans in the United States endured the bondage of slavery. Their forced labor was used to harvest crops, work the land, and build buildings. During this time in history, Horace King was born into slavery. Horace King received training in bridge building and design from John Godwin, the man who owned him. By all accounts, however, Godwin treated King as a partner, freeing him in 1846. Together, King and Godwin developed a successful bridge building business, completing bridges in Alabama and Georgia. The Red Oak Bridge outside Woodbury, Georgia, is the last remaining Horace King designed bridge. It was built in the 1840s. At 391 feet long, it's the oldest and longest wood covered bridge still in use in Georgia. In 1846, King moved to Alabama and he set up business there. He was hired to help design the new Alabama State Capitol. It was here he created one of his most beautiful projects, this floating staircase. During the period of Reconstruction, King ran for office as a Republican, serving twice as a member of the Alabama House of Representatives from 1870 to 1874. Eventually, King moved back to Georgia with his four sons and formed the King Brothers Bridge Company. Each son would carry on their dad's legacy of bridge building. King died on May 28, 1885, and is buried in LaGrange, Georgia, alongside his son, in a cemetery adjacent to the Confederate Soldier Cemetery, surrounded by mostly unmarked graves. There's lots of unmarked graves here. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's just a building structure. 